Hi there, so today I am reviewing the WellU BP2 Connect Blood Pressure Monitor. This is a blood pressure monitor that has the blood pressure monitor and the armband all incorporated into a single unit. It is also a blood pressure monitor which can be used to take ECG readings so if you look at the unit, you can see that it has two metal plates, which are the electrodes that are used to take the ECG reading. And to use this blood pressure monitor to take blood pressure readings, it is fairly straightforward. All you have to do is insert it round the arm, and then the reading. To do that, you press it to switch it on, and then you also press the big button to take your blood pressure reading. So if you want to take an ECG reading, you can do it by any of the four methods as shown in the screen that is displayed. To take the ECG readings, you press the small button and I'm going to use one of the methods in which the ECG reading can be taken. That's the ECG reading. So I've had this blood pressure monitor for over a month and during this time I've been able to benchmark it against three other blood pressure monitors that I have which is the Medisana blood pressure monitor, the Braun Exact Fit blood pressure monitor and the Omron X4 blood pressure monitor and as you can see in the table shown the this well you BP2 connect blood pressure monitor actually compares very well with the other three blood pressure monitors that I have. Considering the fact that all blood pressure monitors are calibrated differently by individual manufacturers. Let's take a quick look at the app. When you download the app and you start it, it scans for supported devices and you see an interface like this. Once it's found the device it would show up on the display as shown as this and then you can register your first user for this particular blood pressure monitor so once you tap on the supported device you would have an interface that looks like this so on this interface you would see all the blood pressure readings for everybody that has used this particular device and so when you take a blood pressure reading on the device it's actually registered as an anonymous reading you can then go into the app and assign that reading to anybody that is registered on the app so you can register as many users as you want to so when you want to assign a reading to somebody who is registered on the app through this interface you select the person and let's say we select James for a particular reading James would then appear registered against that particular reading and the interface would look like this and if you go back to the main screen the interface would look like this with James name registered against that particular reading and if you notice you would see that there are other readings that are yet to be assigned to other individuals so the same applies to the ECG readings if you tap on the ECG icon on the app, the interface looks like this. You can then select a particular reading that hasn't been assigned and the interface will look like this. Um, tap on unnamed and select the user and choosing James as an example 
on this location again. Interface then looks like this. And then if you go back to the main ECG interface, it would look like this. So as you can see, it's very easy to assign someone's name to a particular reading, which makes it a lot easier to use. So when you tap on the dashboard icon on the app as shown here, it will display how best to take your blood pressure reading. So if you select measure ECG, it would display the four screens in which you can take an ECG reading, one of which I previously demonstrated. So when you tap on the device icon, you would see a screen like this. So the blood pressure monitor has the capability of taking three consecutive blood pressure readings at intervals of 30 seconds, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, and 120 seconds. You can switch that on and the interface on the app would look like this and that enables the blood pressure monitor to take those readings at the interval that you set. So the app also gives you capability to be able to connect with the blood pressure monitor either using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. So those two options are, are great. So the final icon at the bottom of the screen is the profile icon. And this is where you can register as many users as you want to use this particular blood pressure monitor. And the screen looks like this. Finally, you can also share your blood pressure readings and your ECG readings. So to be able to share your blood pressure readings, you can either share it in PDF format or CSV format, but for the ECG readings, you can only share it in PDF format. So if you look at the screen that has just come up, you would see that this is for sharing your blood pressure reading in CSV or PDF format. And you can decide how much data you want to share with either your doctor or whoever you want to share the data with. So you can share your data over the last seven days your data over the last 30 days or over the last three months. So when you want to share your readings, it doesn't actually specify whose specific readings you want to share. So if you have multiple users, it just downloads the whole thing. You can only share ECG readings via a single reading interface as shown in the screen here. So what do I like about this blood pressure monitor? What I like about it is that it's a very portable blood pressure monitor and you can take up to 500 readings on a single charge. Also, the app that supports this blood pressure monitor looks fairly easy to use and easy to navigate around. Another thing I like about this device is that it automatically syncs with the app, which is great. There is no need for you to manually sync it with the app that comes with this device. So let's move over to what I don't like about this blood pressure monitor. It's quite expensive. It's 160 British pounds, which is about 210 US dollars for this blood pressure monitor. And I think the reason why it's that expensive is that it's a device that looks to me as being over-engineered. The ECG capability that it has is priced into the unit, but it really makes it difficult for me to compare it with any other device that has ECG monitoring, that also has 
uh, blood pressure monitor incorporated into it. So for example, I know that there are a few blood pressure monitors like the Omron and the Bron, which monitor irregular heartbeats. And these devices take the irregular heartbeat readings while you're taking your blood pressure reading. And as such, there is no separate function specifically for monitoring your ECG reading on, on these devices. So I think personally that the device is over-engineered and it's reflected in the price. Another thing that I don't like about this app is when it comes to the blood pressure readings, you cannot select whose specific data you want to share. It just downloads the whole thing. That is something that needs to be looked into. So my final verdict regarding this blood pressure monitor is neutral, simply because I think the product is over-engineered and the ECG function, which is priced in, is of no benefit to me as an individual. Somebody else out there might find it better beneficial and worth paying 160 British pounds or 210 US dollars for it. But I think that it's rather expensive. So if you want to see other blood pressure monitors that have been reviewed on this channel, why not click on the screen that is coming up? And if this video has been helpful, why not smash the like button? And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.